Although you program your robot to drive one rotation, it will not always drive the same distance, and this is because of the play or backlash LEGO motors have. That's why many FLO teams follow black lines or use the gyro sensor to increase its consistency. However, another way to align the robot is to use mechanical alignment such as funnels. Funnels align against the mission model and guide the robot if it is driving off course. The advantage to mechanical alignments is that the physical structure of mission model should be built the same regardless of which table you are competing on, unlike how color or gyro sensors can act differently during a competition compared to when you are at home. In order to build a funnel, you need to first choose between these angled pieces depending on the desired angle of your funnel. A larger funnel will be much more effective than a smaller one because it gives the robot more time to adjust its path, but obviously it will take up much more space. So you should try to build your funnel as large as it can be without affecting your robot's maneuverability. Finally, you need to build a base that fits tightly around the mission model. If the base of your funnel doesn't fit perfectly, your robot will have inconsistent horizontal positions. Also, I would recommend for you to change your program to drive towards the mission based on seconds, not rotations. This is so that after a certain amount of time, your robot will move on to the next block in your program. If your robot is driving based off rotations or degrees, it may get stuck because the mission is preventing the robot from completing the full amount of rotations. Now you can align your robot to any mission and increase the consistency of your runs. You can even use a funnel to align your robot simply to confirm if it's on path for another mission.